bongga ang effect ko te fresh di ba may pahangin hangin ba si mayora ganyan para tayong model oh pak mm. pak mm. pak lang let's get started I'm excited to do this like it's been a long time I did a, slow, a, a, a story time video you guys the last story time video I remembered is nung nandun pa ako sa amin sa bahay and it's like sobra sobra one month na si ate nagwawalis sa labas sige te walisan mo ang buong manila ate push mo actually pinag-isipan ko kung gagawin ko yung story time video na ito or um, hayaan ko na lang pero um, dumating talaga sa punto na kailangan ko siyang story sa inyo guys kasi dumating tayo sa critical stage you guys super duper critical stage um nakita niyo naman sa title di ba uh, hindi ko pa actually hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung title ko dito but i will really choose my words um correctly i will not say the word scam sa video na ito kasi hindi naman siguro siya scam but whatever let's just do this um i will tell you something you guys this is plain story time and the next video after this video the next video that i will upload is our vlog Ginag vlog ako actually you guys nung nandun na kami sa event na yun. So, maigin din yung anong ibig kong sabihin kung ano yung event na yun. So, vinlog ko yun siya and that video will be up after this video. Like, two days Here's after. Last, uh, like, around, I think it was November 2016. That time, nandun pa ako sa Riyadh. Me and my friends, nandun pa kami sa Riyadh. So, hindi pa tapos yung kontrata namin. So, we're still working. And then, uh, parang napag-isip napag -isip ko na why not? have a vacation in Hong Kong. But why not? Diba? Like, vacation is like, good. And then, siguro, afford naman namin. And then, there's meron naman tayong tinatawag na mga travel tours para mapamura. Diba? Kasi uso yan ngayon, eh. So, nagsabi ako sa mga kasamahan ko, like, anim, anim kami. Yes, anim kami. And then, sabi ko, let's go to Hong Kong. Maghinap tayo ng travel agency. So, sige, sige, sige. They are actually willing to do it. To, 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 to like go to Hong Kong and like find travel agency. At first, siguro meron kami apat na travel agency na parang nag-aalangan kami, aalanganin kami kasi parang paano kung scam, paano kung scam. Yun lang naman talaga yung takot namin paano kung scam. And then merong nanalo best. Ito na siya, si travel agency. Si travel agency before kami nag-avail ng kanyang promo. Actually, maganda yung promo niya, guys. It's like three days and four nights. Um, meron tayong free na I already forgot like doon sa water like ano yun? Hong Kong Disneyland and then meron pang Ocean Park Ocean Park ba yun? Ocean something free and then yun nga may tulugan may ticket and it's only 12,000 pesos so 3 days and 4 nights and we're like cool bakit ang mura tapos 12,000 lang and then before kami nag avail ng promo Lahat ng nag-comment sa page nila, um, may message namin actually kung okay ba to, are they really, are, are, are that, like, are they good, like, like, okay ba yung agent, eh, not travel agency na to. And, nagre-reply naman sa amin, siguro sa akin, wala yung tinanungan ko, okay naman sis, okay naman daw, okay naman ma'am, okay naman po. Natuloy naman kami, natuloy naman kami, so, nagbabasa naman kami ng comments and whatsoever, good travel agency, travel agency is good. Although may nakalagay doon na it's a scam, it's a scam, pero bitter lang siguro. Sa isip na yun, bitter lang siguro itong mga tao na to kasi hindi lang sila maka-afford. Like, no, eh. Sa isip lang yung bitter lang siguro itong mga tao na ito, ganun-ganun. But kasi nga, mas marami yung nagsasabi na okay naman daw talaga sila. So we're like, okay, sige, okay daw sila. So push na natin to, push na natin ang Hong Kong trip natin. So, tinontak namin, reply agad. Which is good, cool, nag-reply agad. Madami kami questions, what if ganito, ganyan, kasi nasa Riyadh kami. So, hirap kami, paano mag-wire uh, trans, paano ang bank transfer, like that. To make it short, everything was settled. Like, first, bayad namin. Um, 10,000 lang muna kasi yung friend ko, hindi niya kayang mag-transfer ng directly 60,000. So, paputol-putol. And then, every time nagbabayad kami, nagsascan naman sila ng resibo at pinapadala through email. Ito ka na ngayon. Um, natapos na namin yung 60,000 were fully paid. So, sabi niya, wait na lang tayo ng, ng ano, contract pa lang at ayun. Contract pa lang. So, 
Naghintay kami for about 5 days. Actually, you guys, nung na fully paid na kami, ang hirap na nilang kontakin. Really, to the point na nagsisin so na lang sila and no reply. Which kind of a bit, like, nababother kami kasi we're already paid. So why are you not talking to us? Like, we are expecting that you will accommodate us very well kasi nagbayad na kami. So, nag-reply naman. Pinakita sa amin yung contract. Ito doon. Contract lang siya. Not, 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 not ticket, not vouchers. Contract. Okay. Nakalagay doon na nagbayad na si ganyan, 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 ganyan para sa ganyan. So, na-indicate doon yung aming um, names. Lahat doon sa contract niya. So, we're like, oh my God, Hong Kong na talaga to. Excited, super excited. Okay, that was December. Fully paid December. Okay. Um, January na. Guys, when I say ang hirap nilang kontakin, ang hirap nilang kontakin. Buti na lang yung isa kong kasamahan, yung kapatid niya na sa Pilipinas and she's the one like calling them sa phone at hindi pa daw sumasagot ng phone. Kasi nga, we want to get our ticket already and like vouchers and whatsoever. Kasi nga, paid na kami yung December pa ma'am. Ibigay niya na sa amin yung ticket namin and yung vouchers namin. So, ang hirap pa nun, pag message mo or tawagan mo ngayon, after 3 days mag-reply at ang i-reply pa sa'yo is wala pa raw. So, sige, kapit lang best. Hintay lang natin. Up to the point na napipikon na yung kapatid nung friend ko na nandito sa Pilipinas kasi ang hirap, 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 hirap kontakin nung agency na yun. Tapos, syempre, nagpanik na kami. Um, nag-message kami ulit sa mga ibang tao. Nag-scan kami dun sa Facebook page. Nag-message kami kung natuloy. Until meron akong na-message sa tao na natuloy ba kayo. Actually, siya sabi niya natuloy naman kami. Pero pahirapan. I was like, bakit? Pa paano pahirapan? On our case, the ticket was given to us like the day after our flight. Like, one day na lang, like, flight na namin pag umaga, saka kami bin binigyan ng ticket. And I was like, whoa, I didn't, like, di ko narinig yung review na yan before. But why? Like, really? Sinong normal na travel agency ang magbibigay ng ticket? Like, for example, meron kang ticket like June 12, bibigay sa'yo June 11. And sabi niya nga, hindi pa ganun ka-easy para makuha yung ticket. You have to call them, like, ng buong buhay mo at buong lakas mo. Kailangan mo silang tawagan at kulitin para makuha mo na yung ticket mo. Parang, hindi ko muna sinabi sa mga friends ko kasi I don't want to alarm them. But at least, natutuloy. And then, eto na ngayon, sunod-sunod na yung ating mga, syempre, nagpapanik na kami kasi nga sinasabi ng isang ko sa bahara, hindi nga daw masyadong nagre-reply. And then, that time, nag-message ako sa kanila sa Facebook, sin lang din ako. And sin lang din yung mga kasamahan ko without any reply at all. So, cool. We're already paid and we are not, hindi kami inaasikaso ng mabuti. So, cool. Ayos. Ayos ka, travel agency. Good. So, we keep on messaging other people na, kasi ano na siya, mag-e-end na ng January. Our flight, oh, I, I forgot already. Our flight, is May 3. No, May 4 ang flight namin. So, mag end na ng January, mag February na, and uuwi ako ng Pilipinas ng March 3. Yun yung deal noon that time. So, nagsasabi na sila, Tracy, pagdating mo na lang doon, puntahan mo. Kasi nga, hindi nga makausap ng maayos. Wala namang sinasabing, Hoy, ha, ano ba? Ano na kami? Walang update yun. That's the right word. Wala silang update na binibigay sa amin. Kung mag-reply man, ma'am, wala pa po. Pasensya po. And then cut. And then the next, like, two to three days ulit, magre-reply. Ganun lang din ang sasabihin nila. Walang further explanation whatsoever. So, kami, nagpanik na kami, Anem. Paray ko, hinagat ako ng ano. Nagpanik na kami. Siyempre, it's normal. That was 60,000 pesos, you guys. Anem pala kami. So, that was 60,000 pesos. Panik na kami. We keep on messaging other people. Ganyan. And meron din nag-message sa akin. Meron isang nag-message sa akin na sabi niya, they said na nag-refund na lang sila kasi wala nga silang binibigay na update and then yung refund pa nila ang hirap pa daw kunin and until now wala pa daw yung refund so okay meron pang isa na na-expire na lang kanyang visa for Korea hindi siya nakalipad ng Korea kasi hindi nila pinrocess ng travel agency so wow painit na ng painit panerbios na kami ng panerbios meron pang isa na um, yung, yung desired flight nila ay na-move two months sa desired flight nila. Na-move siya ng dalawang buwan sa date na gusto nila. Parang kami, whoa! You guys, naputol yung video. I cannot, I cannot contain myself. 
May nareceive ako na very, very important call and I already have my flight. So, yun na. Wala, nagkikita na talaga. Let's, let's, let's jump na lang. Pagdating ng May 3, kinontak nila kami. Like, yung isang friend ko. Sabi nila, ma'am, um, we're not able to get you the ticket and the uh, vouchers because of the Asian Summit daw. And we're like, so, what's the plan? Imove daw siya ng June 8! No, not June. Imove daw siya ng May 8! And I cannot, like, we cannot go sa May 8 because May 8 is a very special day for us because that is the delegation of the Saudi Recruitment Office. Yun yung time na makahanap sila ng mga nurses for government hospitals. That's the first day of the interview. And we cannot go, like, party party sa Hong Kong na yun yung aming future so we cannot go like mom no we will we need a refund because we have plans on that day we just cannot go to Hong Kong that day so she replied no problem mom give us seven working days okay seven working days cool and cool seven working days daw the next day na pa isip isip namin ako sa man ko like I think um hindi niya kaya yung seven working days kasi nga nahirapan nga siya sa atin eh ano mabibigay niya kaya yung seven working days let's just pray sabi ng mga kasama ko okay hold on just like yeah. tingnan natin guys lumampas yung seven working days naging I think 11 pinalagpas namin eh and hindi nagre-reply yung babae hindi nagre-reply si ma'am yung may-ari mismo ng travel agency so me and Yam Yam went to Pampanga the first time because we really want, like, ano to, lokohan? We really want to know kung totoo ba yung sinasabi nyo sa amin na ano. So, nung nakalating kami ng Pampanga, guys, ang hirap pang hanapin ng kanilang office because it's very, very small. And um, as in two hours kami naghanap doon kasi wala kaming alam sa Pampanga. Like, GPS na yung hawak namin whatsoever. At hindi pa sila kilala doon sa area na yun. So, nung nahanap na namin, ma'am, sabi namin, um, nandito kami para kunin yung refund na pinaramis nyo, seven day, and like, nung last last day pa and then uh, may secretary niya paling nandoon so tinawagan niya si kanyang assist na ma uh, si ma'am niya ma'am nandito po si uh, nagano sila nagpampanggen niya i don't understand anything at all andito daw si ano ganyan ganyan so kinausap niya ako sa phone niya ma'am wala pa raw talaga yung money and i was like ma'am bakit kayo nagpromise ng seven working days kung wala pa yung money um yun ah uh, Sabi niya, uh, promise mom, next Friday. And that was, I think, Monday. I think, yes, that was Monday. So next Friday, or this Friday, actually, bibigay ko yung pera. Sabi ko, sure ka ba, mom? She said, sure. Um, sabi ko, hihingi kami ng letter, like, lit, written agreement na sinabi mo mismo na ibibigay mo sa Friday nito yung pera namin. So the secretary was very accommodating. Gunawa naman niya kami ng letter. Sinulat ni lahat, yung time. Na sinabi ni mom, ganun, ganun. So umuwi kami, umasa kami na next Friday daw. Dude! The Friday came. That Friday came? Um, tanghali na. Walang reply. Actually, nag-reply siya na wala pa daw. Ooh. Ano stress na ng hapon? Wala pa rin daw. Guys, 8 na ng gabi. Wala pa rin. May bank transfer pa ba ng 8 ng gabi? And we're like, oh, lokohan to. Lokohan to, dude. We cannot really... So, um, yun, gano'n ang nangyayari. We decided to go to Pampanga, kaming lahat ng mga kasamahan ko dito. And then, pumunta kami sa, barang, sa, sa police station to report that person kasi, sir, ano ba yung, actually, we're not planning to, like, gumawa ng class whatsoever. Gusto lang namin, Makuha yung pera namin sa sinabi mong araw and then sabi mo sure ka bakit wala. I mean, para kasi niloloko lang kami. And then, hindi lang kasi kami yung may refund. Like, marami pang kumukuha ng refund na umaabot ng months. So, hindi kami pwedeng tumagal ng months kasi nga lalabas kami ng country ulit. So, kumunta kami ng police, kinuwento namin. Willing yung police na magtulong. Sabi niya, daan mo na tayo ng barangay hall kasi ayaw naman niya na parang ang dating na is harassment. So, nagdaan kami ng barangay hall. Kilala siya ng barangay captain. Pumunta kami ngayon ng office. Um, 
nakausap namin siya through phone kasi nag Manila daw siya. And shockingly, sabi niya, we're transfer today. Agad-agad, nung nalaman na yan, nung sinabi ng assistant niya na meron kaming kasamang polis at yung barangay kapitan. So, to make this story short, sorry, to make this story short, na-transfer yung pera namin same day na nagsuplong kami sa polis at nagsuplong kami sa barangay kapitan, na-transfer lahat sa mga bank account namin at nakuha namin yung pera namin. So, I don't know, you guys. Pero I'm sure marami pa siyang problema ang ma-encounter kasi meron kami nakitang isang comment doon na nagsumbong daw siya sa... Department of Tourism, nagpasa na daw siya ng letter whatsoever kasi nga hindi binabalik yung pera niya and they, they told the people na ibabalik nila. Kung wala kang kakakayahan na ibalik mo, I mean I don't understand why. I think it's not a scam naman guys kasi meron naman siyang napakalipad na tao but I think like kung hindi mo kaya mag-accommodate, I don't know, I don't know her issue, like I will not hindi ko na alam. But anyways you guys yung vlog tungkol doon sa pag Punta namin doon. We'll be up the next day. And, yes, you guys. You guys, I cannot contain my happiness right now. I will tell you, tumawag sa akin yung, uh, yung Saudi recruitment office at meron akong ticket. Uh, alis na ako sa si June 15. I don't know kailan ma-upload yung video na ito. Probably, I don't know, but June 15 yung flight ko. Papunta ng Saudi ulit. Yay! <sighs> I just cannot contain myself. I need to call my mother, okay? Again, you guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember to keep safe all the time. Bye, masalama. I just cannot. Thank you, Mirage.